us now to talk more about the arrest of Lloyd is our legal analyst, Stephen Kramer. We want to thank you for joining us tonight. Glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Glad to have you with us. Well, where do we go from here? Mark Keith Lloyd is now either being questioned or taken to jail. Where do we go from here in this case? Well, he's going to make a first appearance. One thing's pretty certain. He's not going to be getting bond. He's not going to get out of jail from this point. And then after that, he'll ultimately be arraigned, and then you will see a trial down the line. We heard earlier tonight Orange County Sheriff outlining five charges that he's going to be facing just in the December 13th incident where he's accused of killing Sade Dixon. Uh, we don't know yet how many more charges he will be facing. So how does that all play out? I mean, is this just going to be one arraignment or could we see multiple arraignments? It's potential you could see multiple arraignments and ultimately what they decide to bring to trial, you know, that's that remains to be determined. Whether they want to throw the book at him and throw every charge that sticks, you know, I don't know. I think we've got some very serious charges that, you know, are collectively enough to put him away for, at the very least, his life. We heard from Orlando Police Chief John Mina earlier today saying that this was the result of a lot of great police work, not a tip, which kind of surprised us all. Will we learn more about that great police work during the arraignment, or when will we start getting more of these details? I don't know that we're ever going to get those details. I mean, the fact is, the police, they don't want to reveal the secrets of the trade. They don't want to to know how they found this guy. They want to keep those those tools close to their vest so that the next guy, the next bad guy that presents a danger to the community, they can find that guy. Now, if I was to speculate how they found him, I think they followed every lead possible. They went to the guys and the people that knew him. They went to the friends. They went to the family. They went to the associates. They built a dossier on him, and they found out where is this guy, where does he hide out, where has he been, and that probably is what led him to this house, and if you notice the chief Chief said that that he had ties to this property, that somehow he was related to it. Maybe he was owned by a friend or had been a, a hangout or a hideout from before. So, but that's only speculation. Whatever they did, well done to them. Stephen Kramer, our legal analyst, we appreciate it. Well done to you. Thank, Thank you. you guys.